Sisawath Kasimak, April 9, 1904 to April 27, 1975, was Queen of Cambodia as the wife of King Norodom Suramirat from 1955 to 1960. After her husband's death in 1960, her son Norodom Sihanouk became chief of state, while Kasimak played an important public representational role during her son's reign in 1960 to 1970. Sisawath Kasimak was born a Cambodian princess as the daughter of King Sisawath Manavong and his wife Norodom Kanviman Norlik Tavi. Her official title was Priya Mohaksatriani Sisawath Manavong Kasimak Nyerarath Seri Vathana. Upon the death of Manavong in 1941, Sihanouk took the throne. In 1955, he abdicated in favor of his father Suramirat, who then reigned for five years. After her husband's death, Kasimak kept her title of queen and continued to function as the symbol and representative of the monarchy while Sihanouk assumed his position as monarch, but titled as prince rather than king. Contrary to what has sometimes been alleged, she was never a monarch, as female succession was forbidden in the constitution. After the coup in March 1970, Kasimak was placed under arrest, but retained her title before being stripped of all status during the formal proclamation of the Republic in October the same year. She remained under house arrest until her health declined in 1973, and she was allowed to join her son in China. Kasimak died in Beijing on April 27, 1975, ten days after the Khmer Rouge captured Phnom Penh. Sisawath Kozimak was the daughter of King Sisawath Manavong and Queen Norodom Kanviman Norlik Thivai. She married her father's cousin Prince Norodom Suramirat in 1920. Upon the death of her father Manavong in 1941, Sihanouk, her son and Manavong's grandson, was selected as the new king. In the 1940s, Kasimak famously choreographed the Apsara dance by training her first granddaughter, Princess Norodom Bofa Devi, to become the first Apsara dancer. In 1955, Sihanouk abdicated in favor of his father, making Kasimak queen consort. In 1955, Shihanuk married Princess Monique. She was not on good terms with her daughter-in-law, Princess Monique, which led to advisories blaming Monique for the sometimes strained relationship between Kasimak and Sihanouk, and for Sihanouk's alleged initial hesitance to abdicate, as it would make his mother queen. Like her daughter-in-law, she was accused of promoting protégés to civil offices. Queen Kasimak enjoyed great respect and popularity, despite being neither a monarch nor politically influential, she was said to exert great moral authority over the Khmers, was described as generous to the poor and devoting herself to the welfare of the nation. As queen, she received foreign guests and hosted state functions, where the Royal Ballet of Cambodia often performed. A notable state visit was that of Chen Yi in November 1958, who led a women's delegation from the People's Republic of China. Her son Prince Sihanouk had sworn in 1955 that he would never again ascend the throne, and he had also forbidden his own children from assuming sovereignty during his lifetime. When King Norodom Suramirat died in 1960, a demonstration took place in Badambang in which the protesters called for the widowed Queen Kasimak to take the throne as a ruling monarch. However, Article 25 of the Constitution prohibited her succeeding to the throne because of the stipulation that the throne of Cambodia is the heritage of the male descendants of King Ong Duong. Her brother Prince Monareth was in favor of changing the constitution to allow his sister to be instated as sovereign in her own right. Considering the monarchy in a dubious situation, when Sihanouk was not willing to ascend the throne again not to allow his children to do so, the Council of Regency did propose to him that the constitution be changed so that his mother could succeed to the throne. However, Prince Sihanouk refused to agree to the suggestion because of his uneasy relationship with his mother and his unwillingness to allow anyone but himself as head of state. 
he commented his refusal with the comment that only God understands the reasons why I do not want my mother to ascend the throne. Among the Khmer Republic literati, Sihanouk's refusal to allow his mother to succeed in 1960 was blamed his being blinded by his passion for his wife Monique, who were known for not getting along with her mother-in-law. Instead, Noradam Sihanouk himself again ascended the throne and succeed his father as head of state, although he did abstain from regaining the title of king. Once again head of state and monarch from June 20, 1960, he reorganized the royal palace and royal court where his mother lived. Contrary to what is sometimes alleged, Queen Sisawath Kosimak thus did not succeed her late spouse and never ascended to the throne as ruling monarch. Her brother Prince Monareth commented the matter in his memoirs that it was a shame that his sister had not been born male so she could have succeeded to the throne. What a king we would have in her! Certainly with her, a great many disagreements, and a great deal of foolishness could have been avoided. Despite never being a queen and monarch in her own right, however, Sisawath Kosimak kept her title of queen after the death of her spouse, which was a higher title than her son, the actual monarch, who insisted on keeping his title prince rather than king. Queen Kosimak continued in her public representational role during the reign of her son as prince monarch during the 1960s. She also upheld her great popularity. Her prestigious public role was described in the new Cambodge 5, September 1970. Today, Her Majesty Queen Kosimak, who neither reigns nor governs, exercises considerable moral authority over all Khmers and sits well in the line of past queens, compassionate towards the poor and busies herself in fulfilling her duties with regard to the nation and the people. The growing opposition against the Shihanuk regime, however, did influence the perception of the Queen Mother as well. It has been suggested that Queen Kosimak did exercise the prerogative in influencing appointments to civil service positions and investment in non-transparent enterprises, which were normal for the Cambodian elite at the time. In 1968, there were slander among the opposition against both her and her daughter-in-law Princess Monique for greed, for enriching themselves and for managing a brothel. After the Cambodian coup of 1970, Kosimak was forced to leave the royal palace by the new government and held in house arrest in one wing of Cameron Palace to prevent her from becoming involved in any potential royalist uprising. She was however asked by the Khmer Republic government to mediate between her son and the National Assembly in a last-ditch attempt to turn the people's anger and save her son. She was allowed to join her son in Beijing in China for health reasons in 1973. She died in Beijing in China April 27, 1975, shortly before her son and daughter-in-law returned to Cambodia.